So in this video, I'm going to set up Unify Identity on my home network because you didn't used to be able to do that here, but now you can because things have changed. Yes, so with the latest version of uh, Unify OS 3.2, uh, you can now use identity in a new way. So I've got here the uh, official identity website open, uh, and you can see here it you know very shiny. It shows you an IT manager's dream, and that is because you can control uh, door access, Wi-Fi access, VPN access, and EV charging access uh, through the one identity platform, which is UI ID or UI identity. So if I scroll down a bit here, you can see that we now have converging network and physical access. So the network is obviously the Unify network and physical access is the the door access uh, through Unify access. There's VPN to get onto your company network um, through VPN. So we'll see if we can figure that one out. And then we have password free secure Wi-Fi. So you log into your account rather than the Wi-Fi and you get access to the Wi-Fi. That's kind of neat. And on board off by one click. Yeah, sure that's some IT jargon. Now the really interesting part for me is this new initiative. So we have license free and enterprise options. So we used to only have enterprise and it was only available in the US. So now we have a uh, free tier, so you don't have to pay for it anymore. And it's available anywhere. Of course, there's some limitations, but we'll get to those. Um, so to set it up, you're going to need a, I'll just go to the docs here. You're going to need a uh, Dream Machine, Dream Machine Pro SE, uh, one of those um, compatible devices, which is all in this article, which I'll link down below. And uh, this allows you, as it says here, touch the door access, one click Wi Fi, one click VPN, and effortless EV charging. Now, I'm not going to do the EV charging because I don't have an EV due to where I live, and I don't have a Unify EV charger either. But we are going to try and see if we can set up the other three parts of this. So the requirement here is, as you can see, you need to have a Unify console that is not running Unify Identity Enterprise. So if you've already set up Enterprise, you need to remove that to use the free tier, but you probably wouldn't that unless you're repurposing a machine, a dream machine. Uh, you need to have a owner, a super admin or owner rights or admin in order to um, give um, permissions to the users. You need to have version 3.2.5 of Unify OS and which is the latest version, I think it's 3.2.7, maybe? We'll see that, we'll look at that. And then we have here all of the various machines that will support it. So there's Dream Machine, uh, Base they call it, the UDM. There's a Pro SE, there's a Dream Router, Dream Wall, U, uh, Network Video Recorder, UNVR, which I have, so maybe we'll look at that, we'll see how we go. Uh, NVR Pro, similar thing, and then there are the Cloud Keys. So you need one of those devices to use this um, unified identity that I'm showing in this video. And then you have here the comparison between identity and, and identity enterprise. So as you can see, deployment is only on premise for identity, the, the free tier that we're going to use, which is fine. Uh, identity gives you cloud-based, ideal for home users, obviously, uh, and enterprise. The cost is free, so now we can use it anywhere. Uh, so we can use it for free. Uh, there used to be, or for the enterprise tier, there is still a charge. Users, unlimited, and then there's some plan uh, limitations there. Uh, we can only have one site, but that's okay. I only have one farm. So with the enterprise, you can have multiple sites. And then the thing that doesn't actually say here, which is interesting, I think, is that you can use this anywhere. Enterprise is still only US. The free tier is now anywhere where you have a compatible device. Right. So let's go into Unify OS. So I am here on my UDM SE. So you can see I have the uh, usual applications here, which is the uh, network protect access talk, which I haven't set up, uh, connect, and there's something called a new thing called inner space, which I won't go through in this video. Uh, you can see I have Unify OS version 3.2.7, 3.2.5 is the minimum, so I'm good for that. So identity is now a part of the OS, more so than before. So we have a special, uh, menu here for Identity Enterprise, and we're not actually using that. So if I was, if I did have a subscription with Identity Enterprise, I could add this console to an existing workspace, but I don't have a workspace um, for for that. Actually, that's not true. 
A while back, I registered with my email address when it was in preview. So if I do this, create a new workspace, have a look at this. It then says I already have a workspace associated with that with my email address. Um, that's for enterprise. That's actually not for the free. So you can see in the background here, if I just cancel out of this, it gives us the options of the two. So we have free and we have the free basic plan rather, and we have the standard plan for enterprise. Um, we don't even want the free because it the, the free tier here comes as part of the OS. Let me show you. So if I go up to admins and users, right? And here's my admins. So I got me, I got home assistant, and I got a third user. If I then go to users in here and I go to myself, so that's me. And in here, you can see I have which group I'm part of. I was added on, you know, on some date. Uh, identity invitation link. I can actually send myself a link. So if I do this, click send, invite user to join Unify Identity. And I can send this. I can send this uh, directly now from, from the console. I don't have to do anything, right? It's already part of it. Identity is already part of Unify OS. It's only if you want to upgrade to enterprise that you have to do something extra. So I can send this, we'll see if it comes through and I can share the email that you get, but I'm already a user here um, and in here on the settings, you can see I have an NFC card. That's how I usually get into this building here to my office, which I use with access. And then I can have one click Wi-Fi, uh, which says once enabled, one click Wi-Fi will be seamlessly integrated into Unified Network and you can manage the Wi-Fi configuration in Unified Network at any time. Yep, we want to enable that. Um, failed, oh, failed to enable. The number of SSIDs exceeds the ma maximum limit of four. Uh, it doesn't actually. Um, I have four SSIDs, this is true. I have llamas in the fast lane. Yeah, I got the last frontier. I got my IoT network. And then I have a guest network for when visitors come. So I, I don't actually have more. But all right, I'll play along. Let's go to Unify Network. Let's have a look. See what that says. Settings, Wi-Fi. No, there are four. There are definitely four there. Is this because it's gonna set up a new Wi-Fi? That's a bit odd. Huh. Let's just go back here to admins and users where we were. I'm gonna go to users. I'm gonna go to me. Okay, interesting. And then obviously here, the EV station charge, I can, sorry, I'll skip one here. Uh, door access, so we have the policies that I've set up in Unify Access. Uh, you can look at, watch my Unify Access video uh, if you wanna know more about that. I've got a couple, um, but we'll watch those. If you wanna know how to install it, what it is, and also how to manage it. But the policies that I have assigned to me as a user are then obviously also part of Unify Identity. And then an EV station, I don't have an EV station. I could click a plus here and it could say, oh, you know, can I find it for you? And I don't, I don't have one. Um, so I can apply the change, which means I'm going to get one click VPN. Okay, fair enough. Um, not sure about the Wi-Fi. That's annoying. That was one of the good things. All right, but that's really it on the free plan. That's really it. If you go back here to the overview, you can see here that we have just home users, cost is free, unlimited number of users, right? Single site. So cool, single site is obviously the one console here, the one site where I'm at. Um, so we can do the same here. If we go down to uh, this account here, I can then also add, see that has a different, has only has one access policy here but I can also uh, enable one click VPN there and apply those changes. And that's really it because those are the, remember when we looked at the overview here, that's where you get, you get one click Wi-Fi, one click VPN, phone based door access and one click charging for EVs. Although currently we don't get one click Wi-Fi, <laughs> it's weird. But that's all there is to it. You don't have to do anything special to now have identity. Now, the cool thing is, let's just see if I've got the email. I'll see if I can show you. So here's the email that you get. Welcome to Melwood UDMSE, that's me. You've been invited by your admin, which is also me, to access Unified and his powerful features, blah, blah, blah. If you already have the Identity app installed, click the button below and enter the following verification code in your Identity app. Now, if you don't have the Unified Identity app, then that uh, you need to install that. So I've got the Unified Identity app here, as you can see on the screen as well. Um, and that, first of all, you need to log in, right? So it's, there's no unified login as such. There is either the credentials that are here. 
It says either click load my credential, which isn't here. Oh, I can do that in the in the in the email, of course. Okay, let me do that instead. I can you can also get a QR code if you are, if this is for me being off site, so I'm not next to the admin, which is me. So just pretend that. Then you get an email. If you are with the admin, you can also get a QR code that we can scan. So here's the same email on my phone. So I'm going to click load my credential. And then I'm going to enter that verification code. And there we go. Hello, Lars. So obviously, I couldn't ac um, enable the Wi Fi just currently because we don't know. Um, but I can um, access doors. So it says doors need permission. So let's see what happens when I click that. Let me just close this email here. And then we go back to the console. And I'm going to tap the doors. Oh, those permissions. So we look, we're talking about uh, phone permissions. Yep. Allow identity to find, connect, and determine the relative position of our devices. Yep. So that's the door, obviously. So when I get near the door, um, I can unlock it. Oh, if you heard that beep, that was the door unlocking. Um, in fact, let me just go out and show you how it looks from the outside with the app. Yeah, so we are now just outside the office. Here is the uh, Gen 1 Access Reader Pro, which is the door that I have in now in my identity app. So I can press on the doors. It says doors, but there's only one, obviously. Press there. And could not unlock. Failed to unlock office door. <laughs> um, okay, are you alive? Hello? Okay, let's try again. Press on the unlock. And, oh, didn't make a noise. Doors open though, so it did work. I wonder, why did it make a noise? When I tested it before, it just went ding dong. Okay, let's try again. Hmm, it doesn't make a noise, but the door does open. So it does work, I'm just wondering why that, okay. Anyway, didn't make the ding dong noise. It usually goes ding dong. Um, and then I realized that if you click the three little dots here on the doors, It'll tell you how far away that reader is, which seems a little bit flaky. I'm not sure how it does that, whether it's, is it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth? Like, it's not 20 meters. Like, one? Yeah, sure. One meter we can go with, but 14? No, so I'm not sure. It, well, it's probably just a bit flaky, but that's kind of a neat. So if you're trying to find a specific door, if there's a new place you haven't been before, then you could probably use that. Right, let's go bang inside and continue. All right, and then I can also tap the VPN. So let's do that. See what VPN has connection request. Identity wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. Yep. So we're going to click OK. I'm going to trust that. And then you can see up the top of my screen now on the phone, there's a little key. So let's see if we get here. No, that's just a little key. OK, so that's now connected. So I'm now connected to this network. I mean, I'm on it. But if I was away outside, I could connect to my home network and I can then access uh, devices on the home network like if I was here, which is neat. That's really, really simple, really cool. Uh, oh, here we go. WireGuard's running. All right, look at that. Identity, WireGuard's running. All right, so it just took a little bit for that to show up. And you can see the trend, the, um, the, uh, the traffic as well. Uh, well, how much traffic. All right, uh, there's a plus here. What does that do? Oh, okay, I can add another account. Okay, that's fine. So I figured out why that one-click Wi-Fi won't work. And as most of the time, it was me. I was the idiot. So let me show you. So first of all, under the Users tab here, under our Admins and Users, we have the Identity button. I made this tiny little itty bitty icon. And that is the global settings for the uh, UI Identity, um, the free tier within here. So I can change the icon, which I've done, to our farm logo. And then down here, I can now also set um, one-click Wi-Fi is on for everybody. So this is the, the default, right? So I can turn it on and see here, this is an SSID. I do have to create another um, SSID for users that have one-click Wi-Fi. You can't choose an existing one, and that probably makes sense because you might send this out to lots and lots of people um, and you might want to restrict that network specifically. So yeah, okay, fair enough. So I'm going to call this, what's a good name? What do you reckon? Unified Identity is a little bit corporate maybe. 
So what about one click wander? Sure. And then we can set on the uh, one click VPN as well. And door access and EV stations is auto enabled because that goes on policy rather than on off. So I'm gonna apply the change and I'm assuming it's gonna now create an SSID for me, a new Wi-Fi network. That might take a little bit. Okay, operation successful. Uh, yeah, I can see things are being kicked off the network here. So it is creating another SSID for me. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so that should now be created. Let's go and have a look in the network um, app and see if we can have and if we can find another Wi-Fi network. So I deleted one of mine, Llamas in the fast lane, and here we have one click wonder is now generated or created. So it gets created for all access points. It gets created for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz by default. It seems um, not a hotspot. That's good. <laughs> uh, we do include band steering. So that's for the 5 gigahertz band, that's probably good. Uh, and here are the other settings that come by default. So as you can go in and edit and um, manipulate this as you see fit for your one click wonder network. Uh, but yeah, that seemed to work. All right, so let's go back because there's one more step. So now we've enabled the Wi-Fi network for one click uh, Wi-Fi. Now we need to go and assign it to the users that need it. So if I go to my own um, user here, user identity, Go into settings and I can then add one click Wi-Fi, apply the changes, and I will now have access to the Wi-Fi network just with a press of a button. So let's just have a look and see if that comes up here on the app. And there it is. Wi-Fi is indeed right there. So that's how that works. You do need to create a separate SSID for it. So if I click on that, Please grant overlay permissions to allow quick and easy Wi-Fi connection. Okay, that's what it says. And we can display over other apps. We have to go in and then set it up, etc., etc. We'll try again. Press it. Oh, it's connecting. So now, yeah, I'm now connected to One Click Wonder because I am on this local network. So that is what identity can do as well. So we finally got it working. The Wi-Fi. That's quite neat. So if you have, for example, people that come. Um, maybe to stay with you, maybe the tenants, maybe, I don't know, people that need more than just guest access, you can give them a unified identity profile and they can then open doors and they can get connected to your Wi-Fi network um, and the VPN if you grant them that access as well. So that's, that's really quite neat. And this is on the free tier. Obviously, the enterprise tier of identity can do a lot more, but there we are. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Um, if you have stuff that I missed or questions that I didn't answer, put them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of those questions for you, um, if I can. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video, which will be soon. Yeah, bye.